she picked the phone up. Something inside him fluttered, then reared. Hey, darling, how's things? All right, she said in a sweet little voice. How are you? I feel great now you've answered. Proof was available. His hand was right on it. Do me a favour. Tell me what you're wearing so I can picture you. I've got my school uniform on. Are you wearing perfume? Are you wearing lipstick? I'd love to smudge it. Less than one hour and we'll meet for the first time. Leave the job to us, police chiefs warn paedophile hunters. The usual arguments. Vigilante groups would put child abuse investigations at risk. Criminal investigations should be conducted carefully, meticulously, by those trained and qualified to do so. Cases would be thrown out because of entrapment. Decoys were not real children. Paedophiles would be forced underground onto different sites and into the dark web, be harder to monitor. The stings went on Facebook and YouTube. Family, friends and colleagues would know he wanted sex with children. That was safeguarding, whatever the media said. Screw the newspapers and the so-called professionals. If the courts gave out proper sentences, there wouldn't be as much anger and there wouldn't be as much offending. The people were on their side. It was time to step up. <laughs>